I want to talk about the coronavirus situation. So, what day is it today? Today is the、uh, February six. The number of confirmed cases and also the number of deaths are still growing. But、uh, in my opinion, things are under control. I I would say like. Maybe like within a few days, it will reach the peak, and then after that, you will see the number of growing, the number of confirmed cases decreasing day by day. So, I in this video, I don't want to talk about the stuff that you you already find on on Western media. I want to talk about something that you might now know. Regarding the coronavirus outbreak,、uh, I want to talk about like、uh, individual journalism, the censorship.、Uh, I want to talk about、uh, political correct, and I also want to talk about some、um, infamous habits of some Chinese people that in this. That have caused the outbreak of this、uh, epidemic. First of all, I want to talk about journalism or the freedom of press. You know, it has been like two weeks, but so far, most of the information you get are from are from state media. Basically, the foreign media are just、uh, pirating or relaying the information from Chinese media, which is controlled by the government. But when you think about the Hong Kong situation, when you think about the Hong Kong protests earlier, you will see like on the streets there are tons of people. Some are professional journalists. Some are just a regular like YouTuber or influencer. Some are just the citizens trying to film, trying to take photos. But in Wuhan situation, you don't find it. Now you may you may say that oh, it's because the city is on lockdown. It's because it's dangerous. But what happened in Hong Kong on Hong Kong streets are also dangerous. But you you do find some foreign media. Or some just、uh, regular people filming and、uh, making videos, or just taking photos. But you don't find it on Wuhan. But actually, there are. Here,、uh, we have so far I have noticed that、like, two prominent people doing their journalism work, through which we could gauge. How the situation is in Wuhan, and I tell you, it is very hard to do this in China, because private, just the regular people, they can't、uh, set up or do the report. You have to be a reporter. You have to be a, a certified or licensed. Reported to do things like this, and also you have to belong to a organization, and this organization most of the time, almost ninety percent of the time, is the government funded and supported. That is why you don't hear different opinions in China, but here we have just the regular people doing what they are doing. For this guy. Wait, I didn't know this guy before. I I only know it like from some other reports. So he filmed what is happening in the some hospitals in <coughs> sorry, but you don't have to worry. It's not、uh, it's not going to infect into you, and also it's just a regular cough. I'm I'm okay. Don't have to worry about it. So this dude, he's a Chinese. He's just filming of some scenes from the hospitals and put it online. 
now I would say that um, most, in my opinion, I think he's putting the videos in like foreign media because domestic social media they don't allow it. They they have people who will see the video first and decide if it's it's it could be up or uh, they will reject it. He definitely they put the video on Twitter or on on Telegram, all right, on some groups foreign media foreign social media but they find it in the evening he has been taken away they they, uh, they later released him but they confiscated his uh, computer laptop so what did he do just, uh, so he went to a hospital in Wuhan and within five minutes he saw like eight, eight bodies yes and uh, I have to do my disclaimer. This is for fair use. The use of this video is for educational purpose. Is not for profit. The so don't flag me over this. This is for fair use. Now I would say that uh, this thing happened a few days ago uh, in Wuhan at that time the hospitals they are not well prepared they are um, the lack of the equipment the person the, the you know the masks and uh, they are they just can't handle so many patients suddenly but i would say today recently it's getting better they have just built two hospitals designated for these coronavirus patients <laughs> The person just died. The phone, the person on the telephone is his son. And the son is also having the disease. You can tell that he's out of breath. So after he uh, uploaded the videos to uh, the foreign social media, some people at that night came to his house claiming that they are with the hospital. They are here to check if he's okay. But he said that they are with the police. And later, they forced open the, the door and took him away. But um, 
they released him, I think, the next day, but they confiscated his computer and laptop. Definitely they are with the police. So this is Absolutely. what happened when you film stuff that the government they don't want you to see. Uh, and I also think that what he's doing is dangerous because you are going to the hospital. It just might be you make it just possible that you might get the virus. You know, as much as I commend you for your bravery to report this. But I'm also concerned about your safety of catching the virus. Now this is the first time. He also uh, another time like <coughs> he uh, he was visited by some uh, like. Uh, People from the hospital, but they refu he refused to open the door and they left. This is not the only video he uploaded. He uploaded a few videos. Uh, he has a problem with the government. He uh, takes shots at the government, but you know he, he thinks that the government is acting very slow <coughs> in the beginning, which I'm, I'm thinking the same. I I would say that it could be a it could be well known by the whole country like a week ago. You know, at at first, the government they don't, they didn't take it seriously until it is out of control. You know, the Chinese government they want stability, they want control. So they don't want to panic, you know, if it was released, people will be in panic. So they don't want to see it. Also, maybe like it's because the central government, they don't want you people to know this. Perhaps the Wuhan government, you know, they have to first consult with the, the province government and the central government without their authoriz authorization. They can't just tell people that we have a, a very deadly disease going on right now. It's, you know, not only him, it's another guy called uh, Chen Qiu Shi. He is also doing his journalism. You know, it's very few, you know, you could get the information from real people, from actual people, instead of the government, the state media. So, and this guy is very brave. So this is uh, this dude name is uh, Fang Bing. You can Google it on YouTube or on on Google. This guy, his name is Chen Qiu Shi. Uh, he before he did some coverage about the Hong Kong situation, he was later, at that time he worked for a law firm in Beijing. After that, they fired him. The social media, the China social media, all his accounts within China, within China social media are deleted. But he didn't stop. He has his own YouTube channel, his own Twitter, I think, Right now, he's covering what is happening in Wuhan. But uh, he's okay. The, 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 the government, they know this. They didn't arrest him so far. So this is very, 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 very few channels through which you can gauge what is happening in Wuhan. You know, he he even said that I'm not afraid of dying. Our CCP citizen journalists, journalist says.
，我只说我看见的。He's very brief. <laughs> He called out the CCP of their names. <laughs>、uh, another, some other、uh, related news. I want, I want to cover. And also,、uh, you know, this video it shows that people just died on the street. No, I have seen it not just this time. A few, I, I see it, I saw it on Twitter a few times. Different scenes. You, you can see like people just died in the street because at first they don't have enough testing kits, so people, you know. Even though you show sim symptoms of getting the virus, getting the disease, but because you we don't have enough testing kit, so you can't be confirmed as the 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 you know the the patient. So a lot of people they just wait for the kit to arrive. They go to the hospital, you know the the doctors give them a shot, and then they go back to home. But some people they can't wait. They they just couldn't wait, and the things they got so bad that some people just died in the street. So I just prepare the video. Down down one one person. Now, no,、uh, the iron the ironic thing is that look at where he died. He died in a bus stop, where it just happened to have a socialism, the communism. Core value propaganda banner, and far away, you can see probably it is a Chinese government building. It has a Chinese flag there. Yeah, I got a bird. Yeah, that's what I just prepared. That's the ironic thing about it. I don't want. Another news. Um,、uh, you know, since. You know, Wuhan is the. Epic Center, Hubei Province is Epic Center, so there are growing sentiment online in China about the people from Wuhan, from Hubei. They are hating them. You know, in the West, we we have you have a word called xenophobia, right? The, we have this is called Hubei phobia or Wuhan phobia. So there's a lot of some are、uh, some are、uh, they have this hate speech. Online, you know, because of social media, you can just film yourself and put it online, or put it on WeChat group. But some dudes, the、uh, but this is China. You can't just uh, uh, like verbal attack people, especially you know. Another group of Chinese people. So this dude here, this is just the, one of the few cases. This dude here had some、uh, video up criticizing or verbally attacking、uh, Hubei people. He was arrested. He was. They gave him a ten day、uh, detention. And this another dude、uh, in Shanxi. In Gansu, so he he also got a ten day detention and five hundred yuan fine. Now, now my question is that、uh, you know you can't have this hatred speech against another group of people in China, but and this is my public service for black people, but on on China social media you will find all kinds of hatred comments about black people. About people of color, they don't have anything happen to them. But to these people, to who who people, to white people, you you can do you can't do that. But to black people, you can do that.、Uh, I mean, where does this double standard come from? The last thing I want to talk about is, you know,、uh, right now there could be two possible causes of this coronavirus. The one is that some people suspect that it is a kind of virus man-made and leaked from the Wuhan Virus Institute. You know, in Wuhan there is a very 
high level virus research facility. They suspect that this virus has leaked, either leaked or some people deliberately, uh, you know, put it, uh, leaked it to let people catch it. Now, I would say that this is more like, you know, it's, even though it's a far-fetched, you know, the, I, don't, I, I don't quite believe it, but it's also possible. But a more possible explanation is that it, it is from wild animal, it is from bat. I I uh, I have seen articles saying that you know, it's it's first from bat and then to snake and then to uh, people. You know the first of first few dozen cases, many of them are from a seafood market in which they sell wild wild animals. That is so. That is why here you have a few articles. Uh, saying that uh, across China, many places have banned wild animal trading. I, I would, uh, I would say it's a good news. You remember the two thousand three SARS outbreak? How did it start? Some person in Fushan, Guangdong province, ate a animal called Guozili. You know, I never knew this kind of animal until the report, and until this day, I don't know what what is what animal is like. But you know, this this animal is almost synonymous to the SARS. Let me find what is its English name. It's a kind of cat, masked civet. So this this animal caused the SARS, and the bat caused the. I would say I would assume it's because of the bat. So that is why, across China, many cities have banned wild animal animal trading. You know these people. I don't eat wild animals. It's because it's the, the the kind of people who eat the bat have caused this kind of disease and this kind of disease spread to the world, uh, making people like ma making Chinese people look bad. And for people like me, we don't eat it, but we have to take the blame. So that is why now, <clears throat> you know, some experts suggest that. China should ban wild animal forever. Maybe probably the central government they will announce this kind of policy. You know, <clears throat> you know, Chinese some Chinese eat all kinds of things: the snakes, bear, donkey, dogs. I mean, dogs are so cute. Why why you eat it? Rabbit, yeah. Donkey meat. You know, and all these these means some of the means are very, uh, you know, questionable. You you don't have this uh, test, or you don't have the quarantine. You don't know the, if they have virus on it, in it. Yeah, that's what I have to say in this video. So thanks for watching. I'm out.